Hey guys, it's All Things Disney, and today I'll be showing you how to create these cute tidbits, mini sort of figures or charms. So as you can see here today, I'm going to be showing you how to make Pooh and um, Rue from the Winnie the Pooh collection of tidbits that I have. And the name Tidbits was um, inspired by my sister, Disney Fan 14. She said, well, I showed these to her, and she thought. They were small and cute and little, so she thought of the name Tidbits, and I thought that was a cute name, so now I'm calling them Tidbits, as you may have guessed. So here are Winnie the Pooh and Roo, and they're kind of in a sitting position, like that, and they're really cute and small, and these are original designs, and today I'll be showing you how to make these ones. Um, so the only difference that I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to make, be making Roo today, but it's the same thing as Pooh, just in different top colors, I'll tell you how to make him as well. Um, but today I'm going to add a tail to Rue, which you don't have to do, but, um, so I'm going to add that. Now, um, other tidbits that I'm going to be making tutorials for, and maybe I'll have more, are, um, as you can see here, I have Rabbit, who's also part of the Winnie the Pooh series. Then I have Lumpy, the Heffalump, and, um, I have Piglet, which I think he's really cute. Um, I really love him. Um, either way, so we have, I have these other three, and I'm hoping to make Tigger and Eeyore too, but I don't know if I can make those, they may be a little harder. But this is all I have for the Winnie the Pooh collection so far, but I might be adding more or making different collections. And you can also make Dumbo out of the Lumpy tutorial, so he's just really cute. Either way, so those are the other ones that I'll be making tutorials for later. Well, not later today, but later eventually in the next few weeks. But either way, t way today I'm going to be making these. So now we can get started. The supplies you will need to create these are one rainbow loom and a rainbow loom hook. And then for, if you're making poo, you're going to need black, red, and a yellow color. I'm using mango. You can use yellow. You can use neon orange or anything, but I think mango works the best with Pooh's certain color. Um, and then if you're going to make Rue, which I'm making today, you're going to need turquoise blue or any other shade of blue. You can also use any similar shade. You're going to need also black, then some sort of shade of brown for the skin. I'm using caramel. And you're going to need for the nose, I'm using cocoa bands. So. Now get your supplies ready, and then we can get started. Okay, to start off on this charm, we're going to take one single of your first bands going down from the top center peg to the one underneath it. Since I'm making Rue, it would be Rue's skin color, but if you're making Pooh, it would be the yellow skin color. So like that. So, now we have this, and make sure your loom is set up in the stagger configuration, with the red arrow facing towards you. So, next we're going to take double of these skin color bands, and yours will either be yellow, or the mango, or the caramel. Then you're going to go diagonally to the left and to the right with double bands. Like that. Then we're going to go diagonally once, not diagonally, straight down once. And then straight down again, like that. So straight down once on each side. Then go down once in the center, still using double bands. And then once more in the center. And whenever I say using double bands of like the skin color, you know either if you're making poo, you would use yellow, or if you're making rue, you would use the um, caramel. So. I want to make sure I don't confuse you. Now we're going to take double of our skin color bands again and going into the center diagonally from the left and then going in diagonally from the right to close off the head. And this is a rather small head, but that's what the design is like. Now we're going to make the ears. So we're going to take out our hooks and twist one single band of the skin tone on your hook two times, creating three loops. Then take double of your bands, place them on the tip of your hook like that and then slide on the loops and bring it back over like that. Now we can take it off the hook and place it on the second peg down from the left side. Now we're going to make another one of these. 
So I've made another, and remember you're just making a cap band and then sliding double bands onto it. It's pretty basic. Then you take it off your hook and place it on the opposite side, on the second peg down from the right, like that. So now we have most of our face done, except for the, of course, the eyes and the nose, but we'll get onto that later. Now we're going to take, if you're making poo, you would take double of your skin color bands for poo, the mango, but if we're making rue, you're going to take double of your shirt color bands, which is blue, or turquoise if you want to be more exact. So that depends on what you're making. So since I'm making rue, I'm going to take double of my shirt color and go down once for the neck. Now I'm going to go down diagonally to the left with double bands of the shirt color. And even if you're doing poo, you would also do this now. And then go double to the right with the shirt color, no matter which character you're making. Then go down once in the left, still using double bands in the shirt color. Then in the center, we're going to go down once. And then we're going to go down once on the side like that. So now we've done our shirt for both characters, that's all we're going to do. Now we take our skin color again, no matter what character you're doing, go down once on the left, using double bands, go down once on the right, and go down once on the right. I think I just called this the right, that's the center, this is the right. Sorry. Um, so, and the good thing about this is that it's so simple and small and quick, so so it's a very good design. Next we're going to add on the sort of triangle bands that hold it together. So we're going to make a triangle on the last area of the body. So these last three sets of skin color bands that we placed, um, we're going to make a triangle over those and then bring the bottom part, this part right here, up to the center like that. So it looks like this. So if you're, it's upside down it looks like a V. Like that. Now we're going to make, and if you're doing poo, you would also take skin color. Now we're going to take another triangle, just make a normal triangle above the three pegs and up above it with one single skin color band. So now it looks like this. Now we add on the feet, so we're going to do the same thing we did for the ears. So we're going to take out our hooks, twist one of our skin tone bands around the tip two times, making three loops, then take the double skin color bands again on the tip of your hook, slide on the loops. This is the same as the ears, and then bring it over like this. So you should be pretty familiar with this. Now we're going to place this on the third peg of the shirt, where we place this odd-shaped triangle band. Just place it right there, facing sideways. This will make it look more like Rue is sitting, or Poo. Um, now we're going to do the same thing again. So you're just going to twist around band on your hook, take double bands, and slide on the loops, bring it back over, and place it on the other side, just like that. Now we're going to add on the arms, and we're going to do a similar process again. We're going to take out our hooks, place one single skin color band on your hook, twist it around two times like that. Now we're going to take our shirt color, and this applies for both Rue and Poo, which rhyme, so amazing. Um, so both of them have the shirt color here, so it doesn't matter who you're making. So place double of those bands on the tip of your hook and slide on the loops. Then bring those back over and take them off the hook onto the diagonal where the shirt starts, which let me count. Five the fifth peg down from the top, like that. So now we're going to do the same for the other side. So I just made the other, and it looks like this. So now once you've done it, you're going to take it in your fingers and place it on the opposite side of where we placed the other, on the fifth peg counting down from the right, like that. Now I forgot to mention something. If you want to make a tail for Rue, you're going to take off this one horizontal band there and this one set of skin color bands. You can also make a tail for Pooh, but um, you can do what you like, but I think it'll work for Rue. I'm just going to take off these bands here, and I'm going to add a tail. So I'm going to show you how to make a tail. I'm just going to do it the same as the arm, so we twist one skin color band around the tip of your hook, 
two times, and then take double bands, place them on the tip of your hook, and slide on the loops. And this is optional, you don't have to make a tail. I'm just doing this to try it because I've never done it before, so. So that would be, and if you don't want a tail, you would just leave everything the way it is. Then you would take another double bands, bands, place on the loops, and then place it right onto the pegs. Now if you're not adding a tail, like I said, it would just be like we had it before, just two bands. So now it looks like this, and I'm just going to replace everything that was there. So, now we can move on to the face and the facial details. So we're going to make the eyes now, so you can take out your hook and twist one single black band around the tip of your hook three times, creating four loops. Then do that again to create the other eye, like that. And then we're going to take one of our skin color bands, and this applies for both Pooh and Roo again. And you're going to slide on the loops. Like that. And then place them on the third peg, counting down from the right, and same on the left. Like that. The eyes may seem a little low, but they look fine in the end. So now we have this. You want to separate the eyes and then take the top part of the band and bring it up to the center third peg down from the top like that. We're going to add on the nose later so don't worry about that but this is what our head looks like now. And then we have our body with the tail if you're making a tail so it should look like this and it's small enough so that I can fit all of it in the camera range so that's great. So now we can start to hook it or loom it up. So we're going to start in the center on the bottom. You can just take this, these double bands and bring them right up. Then do the same again with the shirt color and then stop there. Like that. Now we can go in on the sides where the feet are. And you're going to make sure you go under the feet, which I accidentally grabbed the bands for the feet. So you're just going to go under everything and just grab that those last double two bands like that and then you go in the horizontal band bring the double two up up to where the arms are now we're going to go in the arms grab the bottom two and bring them diagonally into the center like that now we're going to do the same for the other side so go under everything on that last peg bring the two bands up go in the triangle band, bring the bands up, then go in the arm and bring the bands up. Right into the center. Like that. So now we've done the body already. That was so quick, so easy. Now we're going to go in all of these bands here and grab the neck bands. Now remember, if you're doing poo, it would be the skin color bands. If you're doing roux, it would be the shirt color bands. And then you're just going to take those bottom two and bring them up, like that. Now we're going to grab the top two bands, bring them to where they go. If you only grab one like I did, you're going to go back in, grab the other, then do the same for the other side, and then stop on the diagonal. Now we're going to do the nose. So we're going to take one of our cocoa or dark colored brown bands, Twist it around the tip of your hook three times, creating four loops like that. And then you can just leave it on your hook and then bring up the bands. And then before you place them down, just slide on the loops. Like that. And now we can place the band up. Like that. Now you can see his cute little face. Now we're going to go up the rest of the times in the middle. So stop there. Now on the sides, we're going to go in that eye band and everything and just bring up those single band the double bands like that and then go in the ears grab the bottom two and bring them diagonally in and I'm just gonna fix that so that it doesn't look so um, twisted so that it doesn't look as bad um, and now we're gonna do the same for the other side so bring that double band bring the double bands up 
and then when you get to the ears and the diagonal, go through the ears. You can pull them out if you like, and then bring only the double bands up to the center. So now we have our body like that. So make sure everything is loomed and hooked up. And if you have a tail, it would be here. So whether it be Poo or Roo, we have all of that. And now we can finally hook that last single band. So go in everything, bring that single band up. And pull it up like that. Now we can go through to the side. We're going to take this bottom part of the band and bring it over the peg like that. And then you can tighten it by taking off the other band like that. And now we have our slip knot. So now I'm going to use my hook to just take off the roux character off the loom or poo. Just take everything off. So now I'm going to move my loom over and everything. And so now we have this thing. So it may be curled up and everything. You're going to go to the side that has the nose. And then you can kind of stretch out the face, make it look nicer. So the face looks fine for me right now. So now I'm going to stretch out the rest of the body. And just stretch out the tail. I'm going to position the tail so that it's at the back of his body, so it looks like a tail, and we have this cute sitting position for Roo or Poo, if you made Poo, which I suggest making both because I think they're both so cute. So now we have, when you're done stretching and positioning, you have this cute charm. So you can either leave this slip knot band there to make it a charm, and just so you can put it on your backpack, anything like that, or you can take out your hook and go to the back side of the character, go in any two bands, and then I just went through the eye. That's really, that's, wow. Okay, you're going to go through any two bands, and then you can just pull through the slipknot band so as to hide it, like that. So now we have our hidden roux or poo. Um, so not. And now our character looks like this. Really cute. Let's see if he stands. Will he stand? Will he stand? Stand. Oh, look. Um, I can't really show you very well, but Rue stands if you make him with a tail. That's really cool. Let's see if he bounces. Nope. Wow. Bounce. Okay. Um, so he doesn't bounce. That's unfortunate, but as you can see, here's Roo, and Roo, Poo, whatever you wanted to make, and here's Roo without a tail, just wanted to show you, and here's Roo with a tail, so they just look a little different. So, that's it for this quick, fast, easy tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you were able to make this easily, and um, if you do make this, you can hashtag it to all things Disney RL on Instagram so that I can see your creations and I hope to see them. And on Instagram, by the way, my account is all underscore things underscore Disney. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. And so I hope you enjoyed the beginning of the Tidbits series on my channel. And be sure to be on the lookout for more coming soon. And yeah, that's it. So um, see you real soon then. Bye.